Hey everybody, this is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock your user account if the Limit Login Attempts plugin has locked you out. And I'm going to show you how to do this via the MySQL database method. There are two ways you can do it. One way to do it is to deactivate or delete the Limit Login Attempts plugin, and that will allow you to log in again. The other way is through editing the database. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the database. Now this method is a little more advanced. If you're not familiar with the MySQL database or comfortable in it, I don't recommend you use this method just because you can break a lot of things when you're in that database. So first thing I have to do is lock myself out. So I only have four tries. So we'll be locked out real quick. Okay, now we're locked out 20 minutes till we can try to sign in again. To unlock my account via the MySQL database, the first thing I have to do is sign in to my hosting account. And this site that, I, that you see here, wp-phd.com is hosted on HostGator. So I have the cPanel open over here and I've already scrolled down to where it says PHP My Admin. And that's the one you wanna click on. If you have a different hosting account, don't worry. If, as long as it's cPanel based, it will look something similar to this. It might be a different design, different icons, but it'll be similar. And click on the PHP My Admin. If you have a non cPanel based hosting account, they should still have a PHP My Admin if you're running WordPress. HostGator will log us in automatically in a few moments. And on the left hand side, if you have a bunch of databases, you have to find the one that, that your site is, the database it's running on. So here you see all the tables in the database. And what you want to do is find the table called underscore options. So the at the front, you'll see the, the prefix for your database. By default, it's WP. If you have a more secure installation, it'll be called something else. Uh, in my case, it's called something else. But if you find the whatever it is, underscore options table, and click on that link, or click on the browse button, both of them work, you'll be taken to the options table which is where the limit login attempts plugin stores its data. And once this table loads, simply click on SQL at the top, the SQL tab. And then you'll be given a, a default, a default query there. We're going to put in our own. Down below this video, you have two queries to choose from. One of them will unlock all the accounts that are currently locked. The other one will account or unlock an account based on a specific IP address. So you can in unlock individual accounts using this query. I'm going to show you how to use the all accounts one first. So you can just copy and paste the query from below this video. And you have to update the prefix to whatever your database prefix is. What this query is basically telling the database to do is in the options table, find or, or set the value of the option, and the option name is limit login lockouts, set the value of the limit login lockouts option to blank. That's where these quotes are and in between there's nothing. So when we're ready and we're happy with that, click on submit query. If there are any errors, sorry, hit go. If there are any errors, they will show here. And if it worked fine, it will say one row affected. And that's good. So now if everything went well, if we go back to our login page where we were locked out, we should now be able to log back in and that error message should no longer be there. So now we can go ahead and try to get locked out again. And we have three attempts remaining. So what we did was we unblocked ourselves. And this is a, a great example of a time when an app like LastPass is very valuable because you don't keep locking yourself out. The LastPass app remembers your password. So now I'm gonna show you how to use the second option which is unlocking only a specific IP address. So we'll have to go back to the database or back, yeah, back to the database, back into the SQL query section 
and you'll have to copy and paste the second entry below this video where it says unlock just a specific IP address. We have to change the table name again to whatever your table name is. Underscore options. And then we want to replace these numbers here with your IP address. If you don't know where your IP address is, all you have to do is go to Google and then type in what is my IP and it shows the IP right there and we copy and paste that into there. Missed a number. So we copy and paste the IP into there. We make sure we update the WP options to whatever our database prefix is if it's not default. And when that runs, it will only unlock that IP address. Now I just unlocked all of them, so I'm gonna hit go, but nothing is actually gonna change. Zero rows affected as you can see because I'm currently unlocked because we just did that a few moments ago. But that is how you can unlock specific IPs. So in this video, you learned how to unlock your user account if the limit login attempts plugin locks you out. You learn how to unlock it via the MySQL database. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe, follow us on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.